My dad makes me feel special when he like really focuses on me. When he takes me to like cricket games and like footy games and when he plays with me a lot. I feel special when my dad hugs me. When he um, gives me hugs and plays with me and all that stuff. I work as a lung specialist and people say, because you're so busy, how could you possibly get time to write a book about busy dads? And I guess that's the, that's the reason I wrote it, because I talk to a lot of men, men who are dying of lung cancer, and they tell me two things. Firstly, they tell me if they had their life all over again, they would have spent more time with their kids. They all say that. But the second thing is, and this is what got me to write the book, is that they said work seemed a lot more important when they were young than it ever really was in reality, if only someone had told them when they were young, but there was no one around to tell them. So I thought, if I write a book and someone gives it to them, maybe that'll help them. Help them do the right thing when the kids are young and it's not too late. When we separated, um, the oldest one was four, so, and then there's a three-year-old and then there's a one-year-old. So I just took it upon myself to go and get involved in doing that, uh, helping out at the kindy, do the parent, you know, people were rostered on to parent help us. So I'd drive down from Kirrup to Albany and have a week in Albany and go and do that. With, you know, a beard down to here, you'd walk in, but if you put a smile on your face, you get involved. The kid, All the other kids actually enjoyed it because there was a dad there. After seeing what I did now, I mean, in hindsight, you know, the most important thing is regardless of what you're doing at work, you know, your kids come first, and that's what I should have really done at the time. But you live and you learn. I always found it quite hard to um, know how my dad was feeling um, through not expressing it to me and, and just talking about it. Uh, but these days, um, through, through the years of going on, I've grown up a bit, um, we can talk a lot more these days. He's, he's really put in an effort to actually sit down, and, and I, can, I can tell when he does set, uh, say these days, uh, I love you, that he, he does find that really hard. On my wedding day when he did tell me he loved me, finally, because it only took 25 years to do, um, it made me realise that he had noticed that I was this living being in his life, that I did mean something to him. So we both really had a good cry and I think since that day it's just been something that I've actually almost broken the ice, which sounds a bit funny, but... Yeah, very, very emotional. Very emotional. Yeah, I'm very teary. <laughs> yeah, it was a very emotional moment. As as now, thinking back at that time, it makes me teary now. Just thinking about, yeah, when he told me. Yeah. It's a lot easier now that I've actually done it, which obviously I've taken a long, lot too long to tell him. But now it's happened. It's one of the best things. Yeah. And when I went, went to school, volunteered to do a bit of canteen because I like sport and my kids like sport. I got asked, would you like to be involved in the football coaching, you know, the inter-school football, stuff like that. And dads getting involved in schools, be they single dads or, or any dads. We need more of them there because there's less male primary school teachers for starters and less male high school teachers. And young blokes need good role models. You know, they don't always have to be perfect role models, but you, the more dads or more blokes they see around, the more comfortable they feel within themselves. You know what I mean? They, they've got people, well, look, dads come to school, so if they don't see dads going to school and they're at school, when they have kids, are they going to go to school? Well, my dad didn't go, why would I, why would I go? That's, that's, that's not our domain. But it is. It's, I've had some of the best times of my life involved in school, without a doubt, and I've met some of the best people I'll ever meet through my kids' schooling, ever. I've got lifelong friends just by going to school and getting involved in the school community. I'm probably here today, I'm definitely here today, due to me being involved at Borragoon Primary School and the people I've met there. Take your children on dad dates. What are dad dates? It's where dad goes out with one of the children, just one adult, just one child. This isn't dad and mum. This is not dad and his mates, it's just dad. And it's not dad with all the kids. It's just dad and just one child. It may be breakfast, lunch or dinner, the movies. 
may even be a camping trip, maybe a trip to another town, a football trip, shopping trip, a show trip. And please dads, do it with your daughters as well as your sons. And when you do this sort of thing, listen to them. Don't take them out somewhere to preach to them. Listen to them. Ask them about their friends. Ask them about their lives, what they enjoy. And it will be a winner. So I encourage you to put that in your diaries. When my dad takes me to lunch, we talk about anything and everything. Um, he asks me what I've been doing, <laughs> which is usually quite a lot. Um, I enjoy doing stuff like my dad, like going on daddy-daughter dates where we go out for lunch and go see a movie, might go for a jog or something. Yeah, it's really nice. Can we get a rooster? <laughs> you want a rooster? <laughs> uh, I, want a to use. I want a shopping spree. You want a shopping spree? <laughs> That's why we don't get a rooster. <laughs> makes me feel really special that um, to have someone I can go out with, be myself, and just like chat and laugh at things. It makes me feel really special, happy, and warm inside. Yeah. I love it when my dad plays with me. Me and my dad really like playing pinball machines together. So if we're like doing that, he'd like, like say if we got a high score, he'd go, oh yeah, good on you Sam, that's good. I'm just thinking, I love it when my dad draws pictures for me, that's very beautiful. Thank you.